how are you today? We're back in my bathroom, as you can see. No dark room. You understand. And what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, do a little processing on uh, Alford Delta 100. Excellent medium low speed film. I think it's great. It's not my favorite. I really like the 3200. All that rain is amazing. But we're going to do uh, two uh, 36 frame rolls of uh, Delta 100. And I've got my trusty patented Develop O tank. And I've got these cool plastic. Uh, 35 millimeter to 120 spools here and they snap and they come apart and you can change them to any size you want to. I got this one set up to 35. Okay so we've got our two spools here they're already set up for 35. Um, these work pretty amazingly well. They've got a little ball bearing on both sides here and uh, you feed the film in and you just simply twist. They work like every other spool out there. You can have metal or carbon fiber or tungsten steel or whatever you want to make yours out of. Um, I think metal is the most common now. Plastic are a little more common. I really like these plastic ones because the old metal ones that didn't have this bridge uh, reinforced little, I don't know what these things are called, these little reinforced things, reinforcers. Um, they were they were metal of course and then the actual spool part of it was a thin metal so if you dropped it or stepped on it or whatever you did not that you ever would but if you did it would bend and break and it would be bad then you have to buy another one and that's not any fun at all so we've got our two plastic reels and my developed omatic trusty here um, it's got this cool little spindle that goes in the middle and you put it in something like this and like this and then they fit down in the tank thusly. Works out pretty nice I think. We're using Alford's um, Alford Sol S. I really like it for the uh, 100, the Delta 100. It's okay for the 400 but um, it is probably fantastic for the uh, 3200. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the water. I usually run a little hot about 70 and that works pretty good. 20 centigrade. Just what's on the back of the thing. I'm going to mix it just like it's on the back of the thing. 68 is relatively cool water. So it's telling me that the coldest the water will get in my house is 82 degrees. That's hot when I usually run it at about 70. That's 12 degrees higher Fahrenheit than I normally uh, develop. So what we're going to have to do is go get the chart and uh, see what the development time is. I'll be right back. So I've got the chart here. We're going to have to do it in uh, centigrade Celsius, which is, I'm going to go with 20, 25. And this says, for the uh, Delta 106 minutes at 1 to 9, which is what we're going for. So we're going to find the 6 minute mark, which is this one. There's 20 degrees, 21, 22, 23, 24, which is 4 minutes. Since we're doing 2 rolls, we might go even to 5 minutes. I like a little overdevelopment. Um, 4 minutes might be good enough for the 82 degree water. The water where I used to live was about 50 degrees coming out of the tap. That's really nice. This is hot city water, bad stuff. So what I'm going to do is, we've got a pair of pliers here. These are non-reloadable cartridges. So I'm going to take the, uh, actually these are channel locks. I'm going to take the pliers and I'm going to take the end off, pull this pull out, rip it off a little thing, put it on one of these. Simple enough. I'll be right back. Those are really bright. Okay, so our two rolls of 36 exposure Delta 100 are in here. 
and I have discovered an interesting little deal with these plastic reels. The plastic reels, those little ball bearings, if you hold the ball bearings towards your body so that you're pushing up with the film, the ball bearings tend to fall back down and get lodged in the sprocket holes of the 35 millimeter. So what I think that you should do, what works for me, is if you tilt it forward and you roll it with the film coming over your body this way, and you can sort of help it with your thumbs a little bit. I like to hold back the reel with my pinky finger and, and just rotate like this, and it works flawlessly. I mean, usually don't have any sort of jam ups in there or anything. So there we go. Now, 82 degree water. We're gonna check it one more time. Uh, it says it's about 80. We'll still give it about five minutes. Patented measuring cup. Made in China. Not patented by me. Okay, so what we're going to do, mix it one to nine. This is a 20 ounce or 600 milliliter uh, cup. We're going to fill it to about 525 milliliters or the uh, 18 ounce mark. And then we're going to put two ounces of developer in there for a one to nine ratio. Now this is one shot developer, which means you use it once, you toss it, we're done. Okay, take the lid off, get your developer and pour in the sink, preferably. The uh, little stem, as I call it, also helps you pour straight in down to the bottom. Now we've got to start a four minute countdown. I'll be right back with you. I'm going to agitate for the first 10 seconds of every minute. And we're going to let it rest. What I did was rested it on its top because there's two reels in here. If there's only one reel, that's probably fine to rest it on the bottom all the time. The reel's always going to be on the bottom. But since there's two reels, you might want to make sure that the top reel went upright, this one up here, gets the same amount of rest and agitation as the bottom. That's pretty difficult. We're coming up on minute four here, and I'm going to give it one more, about 30 seconds of rest on the uh, top spool. Just in case you're wondering, I tap it to release any air bubbles that have lodged in the film in the spool. Air bubbles don't promote good development. Okay, now to pour it, we're going to just simply take the lid off and pour it down the sink. I like to give it one good rinse. Now that it's rinsed, we're going to pour that water out. We're going to use a little stop bath on it. Maybe rinse it one more time. I have heard that you can use water as a stop bath. And when I was in high school, that's what we did on our print paper. Uh, we never did it on our uh, emulsion, but on our prints, we just use water as a stop bath, and that seemed to work okay. I like to try to get the inversion on the stop bath as soon as possible, since it's only going to be in there 10 or 15 seconds. Now we're going to rinse it for a good four or five minutes. I do like to pour the rinse water out every now and then just to mix it up a little. Here's our developed film. We're going to pull the first roll off and we'll go ahead and take this off. And there is our prints. Hmm. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but they look pretty good. We'll let that one dry a little bit too after a quick squeegee. And that is how you process Delta 100.